Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michael Palmisano, and uh, welcome back to this uh, live lesson reaction series. Someone who's been with me a long time, Ween Fame, she has been begging for Trower for months, two months, something like that. Told her in the chamber for today. Thank you for being patient. I really appreciate your support. So, we're going to do two Rolling Stone. I don't think I've ever learned a Robert, uh, a Robin Trower tune ever. Swear on my life, I have heard his name. I'm assuming I've heard his playing. But the name and the playing are not ringing a bell in my brain. I know. I know. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. But I can see from the pedal board, from the Strat... And the Marshall stacks, that um, it's going to be spicy. It's going to be spicy. A lot of that. Here we go. 652. Thank you. I want to do an oldie for you. This one's on our second album. It's called Two Rolling Stones. <laughs> All right, so you're going to see, you got the... So you're just walking up chromatically from C flat seven, seven, to your root, minor third. Now it sounds like it, it might be that there's, and there might be some chord playing in the bass, like, uh, like, like maybe playing a piece of that triad there. I don't know. But, uh, and then he comes right in with the wah. I love, I love when songs just start with the wah. Singing bass player, love it. That that uh, riff, you know. Sliding up the first finger, C minor. Let's see where we go. So I'm hearing that that. Uh, like that piece of that, it's not just a power chord, there's a minor third in there. So that. There's that minor third and fifth happening. major, flat seven, root, or flat seven, one, minor, though. You know, people, it's, you know, he's doing it here, going wow, 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 with the beat. So, like, as you would tap your foot, you wah. Um, you don't always have to do that. You can wah as you will. But it's it's important to note that he's doing it with the beat here. It gives it that, that sound. So you got the... Yeah, it sounds like he's, they're playing off C. And it 
accentuating that little minor third that You hear that? See that big, look how high the cymbals are back there. He's just crushing it. Shoulder, you know, as you wink at someone. like a little piece of a diminished run and letting the wah-wah just squeeze it open through there. And he's been going down. Going down to, to the C. So going down to the C and going up. I mean, that's wild. So basically to um, E flat seven. So still pushing that minor third, but making it more of a diminished pull because you're moving that whole cluster. See now, see now, he's still keeping that wild going, that wow, 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 but he's starting to move it a little bit. C minor pentatonic. I know I don't have that sound, but then that, that's where everything seems to be seems to be living. I love those. That love that, that, with the wah, it just bleeds so greatly. It doesn't even, this doesn't even sound like it without the wah. You know, you know it's so loud right there. So it sounds like he's doing like going in there too. That might be the part. So hitting the yeah, hitting the flat seven and the minor third of C, and then just moving everything up a half step. So giving him that suspended feel. We got what we got here. all those effects he's switching to a straight blues that that yeah you just go up a half step you have my attention sir okay I gotta talk about how bitching that is the half step jump out of nowhere is is it just doesn't get I don't hear anybody do it anymore um, not that a lot of people did like the only thing that's really coming to my brain is that um, famous Dusty Springfield song um, but uh, but uh, and it's in a bunch of places but man that that is killer that that the ride symbol is coming in with that but feeling it with what robin's doing look how much he loves the wah we've talked about wah face a bunch before but he's got a great one 
He's starting to really move around. It's not just with the bead anymore. This is what I'm talking about. Really good wild players alternate. They realize you can wild at will, you know? And just like a voice, it accentuates anything that you're going to push on. It doesn't just have to be the beat. But in that particular instance, you see the, uh, or you hear the drummer match it with the ride. It's right on. Mixing between major and minor, that's, see, that's, that's the real stuff, that's how you know you're doing something. And look at this, rhythm players, take note, right? This is, this is C7-7, seven, seven, or sorry, C-sharp-7, right? But I'm just playing, I'm just playing a tritone, I'm playing the flat 7 and the major 3rd of C-sharp. You can get away... As long as you got a third in there, you can get away with playing a piece of a chord um, and get the function with just with just the double stop. Uh, textbook blues. Yeah, and see like there that flat seven, major third, major sixth, ninth. I don't know what you call that stuff. But I knew that I do know that you're implying the four and kind of the five. Ooh, what was that? What 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 was that? Just move the whole thing back, but the band's still staying in C sharp. Evil. I like it, sir. This is uncharted territory for me. Flat six, nine, five, and a root. That's that's hot. Did not see any of that coming. Plugged in. Are you watching his body language? He is. He is. He is. He is. He is inside every single note and doing it like it's it. We go back. Look at that keyboard usage. Look at it. Watch his body language. Don't watch his hands. Watch his face. Watch his shoulders. that keeping that dance and he's finding where to put the notes in this rhythm clearly clearly dudes all feel thinking rhythm first like if you watch it i mean he's got the he's got the, the flow right but he's trying to figure out where to come in in that flow like the notes aren't determining where the flow is the flow is determining the notes Key distinction. No, 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 no. Uh, so it's, it, and, uh, uh. Uh, 
And then it's like a... What the heck did he even go to? So like a... Like a... And then just... Okay, so he's just coming in. You got the C sharp, you know, you got the... So... And then just playing that root major third flat seven cluster of a dominant chord and walking it up chromatically uh, from the flat seven. It it blends with the effects really well. I feel like you can't you you can't you wouldn't always be able to make this fit in a blues, but there's something about the combination of his touch and the effects which makes it that makes you makes you you can sell it. It's 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 wild. If it was clean, I'm not so sure it would sell as well. Like it's all part of it. that was like that sounds like someone talking like again the effects kind of make it like really like it'd be much harder without the effects but the way that he plays combined with the effects um and notice he's not on the wild there right he's got like the flanger thing happening but go back again look at that keyboard usage go back and just listen to how vocal it is this is this is that uh, just C sharp minor, um, but playing with that between the flat three, the four, and the five, that flat five, like playing in there, is that minor, vo minor vocal talking spot, you know, and it just, it's so vocal. <laughs> His picking is doing a lot too with the single coils and coming in kind of on the side of it that you hear little overtones coming through and maybe that's what is in the effects that brings out those overtones so it sounds so vocal. Very cool. Give me the hit, give me the, sorry, sorry. I love this guy. Oh, I love this guy. Oh my God. Thank you so much for, um, for suggesting this. Uh, I, I, I handle my life. I don't think I've ever learned any Robin Trower. Key takeaways here. Um, you know, essentially a blues in C, right? A minor blues. So you're in C minor. You got that groove. You got that little intro lick you'd have to get if you're covering it. Uh, and then you have your relative major chords, which it pulls from, you know, you have your E flat, B flat, and F, you know, because um, you're essentially in the, the key of E flat here. Uh, this is a true six chord that's C minor. But then he goes up a half step to C sharp. Hello, anybody still out there? And switches it up to a straight ahead blues. But not like a 1-4-5, just like a straight ahead C sharp 7 vamp. And then it gets spacey. It gets spacey and his playing, his pick attack, his fingers combined with the effects, it's just very vocal. It's a very unique sound. I mean, it. I, I, I have a feeling that he's got a lot of stuff that sounds like this, and this is like the Robin Trower sound, and I just haven't heard it, because that is very unique. It's very signature. Like, it is very vocal. Um, and the wah playing. 
excellent wah playing. Starts starts rhythmically, starts right on it, and then moves around. Wahs with the wahs with the mouth as you would a voice, right? Because you don't always, if you're keeping time and you're singing, right? You don't sing, right? Your time's going right with the drummer, but you're singing over top of it. Wah with the top when you're taking leads, right? Because your guitar is the voice during that part. Um, and the other thing, it's just very clear that <clears throat> he goes back and forth between playing the licks he wants to play and letting the rhythm, the groove, the feel dictate what, what he's going to play. That one part where you see him just in the dance, literally like he has a dancing party, like some partner, like someone's with him, and he's bringing in the notes and selling them where it fits in the in in that flow it's not the other way around and so that going back and forth between that and the and the more you know guitar riff i'm in this minor pentatonic shape and i have the my riffs and my bends combine those two things going back and forth makes for a very complementary like you know the yin and the yang that is very very cool um and I just love his attitude. That slide off at the end, just for no reason, and then to have it just die off. It's so playful. It's just, it's killer. It's killer. So thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you like my videos, you like the way I teach, I'd love to be your online teacher. Click the first button in the description, and you can join me over at guitargate.com, which is my online, uh, my whole online lesson platform. And you can get all my courses. All my lessons and courses are over there. Please like, subscribe, but be sure to drop a link in the comments for what you'd like to see me do next. We're on this journey together. No genre is taboo. Um, we can go as deep down any rabbit hole as you like. I am pumped when I do these reaction requests because literally I have not listened to them and I don't know what we're going to do. Um, and you'd be surprised what I don't know. Case in point. I'm sure it's going to be 100 comments like, dude, where were you born on Mars? You don't know who Robin Trower is? I've heard the name. I am not sure I've heard that dude play before. Cheers. Thanks again.